Well, it's uh, day one of our solar panel installation. The workmen have just gotten here. They've unloaded the panels and they're starting to get it set up to uh, uh, start installing the uh, framework, the structure on top of the roof and, uh, and then pull up the panels there. My understanding is it goes pretty quick uh, once they start working on the roof. So it's about noon and they're just uh, starting to hoist the solar panels up to the roof. They spent most of the morning uh, prepping the roof, putting on the so-called hockey pucks that uh, are used to um, attach the solar panels to the roof. And they also installed some of the side rails that uh, make the installation look very uniform. Very exciting, just saw the, the uh, first few panels coming on the south side of the roof. I know they are making good progress. I see them uh, placing new panels on their ladder, almost one a minute, to try to get uh, all 67 panels up on top of the roof and attach them. Once you attach the panels, once you raise them to the roof, it's, it sounds like it's pretty easy to just snap them into place and they stay there.
big day. They installed 43 of the 67 panels and also installed the uh, solar edge inverters and did some of the electrical work to get the AC current to the main box. So they're really coming along, professional, seamless installation. I really thought they did a great job. Uh, just coming out here to uh, where a lot of the electrical work was done, you can really see what a great job the uh, Tesla service people did um, hooking up the uh, associated panels, including the master switch and um, the conduit pipe to the solar inverters. Again, the, uh, the wall box on the right was our 400 amp meter. And then you can see the master switch here and the associated box. I haven't, they haven't told me what that is, but I think that's the uh, breaker panel for the AC. Um, moving back here, there's a conduit pipe that goes all the way back here to the state-of-the-art solar edge HD wave uh, dual inverters. And uh, these basically collect the DC electrical power um, from the uh, panels. Each panel has a solar optimizer that allows, uh, to allows you to control and gauge power output on a panel level, not just for the entire system. And then once they leave these dual inverters, uh, the, the power that power travels is AC down to the meter and into our house. So it's day two of the solar install and the workmen just got here. Today they're gonna to be installing the remaining uh, 22 solar panels, getting the installation finalized, the connection to the inverters and the connection into our meter and our power system. So they're literally down to their last few panels um, that they're going to be hoisting up on the roof. I count three over here and there's several more in the back. So they're really making progress and uh, getting this project done. The last panel. So, we are at the end of our install. It took two days. But it went very smoothly, and at the end of the process, we now have 67 solar panels on our roof, and we have two solar edge HD wave inverters, and we have all the necessary connections for us to generate electrical power in the very near future. And the next steps are for the city inspector to come and inspect the system and approve everything, and then for our local power company to approve our system and permit us to interconnect it with the grid. More about that coming later on in a separate video. But thank you all for watching this two-day experience of getting our 22 kilowatt Tesla solar panel installation completed.